Hey everybody, welcome to another video of vintage TV and radio stuff. This isn't a TV or radio thing, but it is, it is rather vintage and it's it's really pretty cool. It's the Sharp LC Quartz model CT660E talking clock that came out back in the late 70s to around 1980. It uses uh, different uh, inter integrated circuit technology to, uh, first of all, run the clock itself with quartz movement, and it also uses a, a voice synthesizer to uh, give you the time in a talking clock manner. Uh, this was not the first talking clock. Uh, others were made in the decade before. I think Panasonic, I think, had one, according to Wikipedia. But this stands out as one of the more accurate clocks, and it is, it's pretty versatile. Uh, this one I got came in the original box and has the original instruction manual as well. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and check it out. Okay, this uh, is the top of the clock, basically. It is where the speaker is. It also has a little push button on the far right. That's what you push to hear what time it is. And this particular uh, person who bought this didn't take the little sticker off that says talking clock, which is kind of cool. So it you know, gives that uh, extra bit of uh, maybe value if you're into that kind of thing. It has a little carrying strap right here on the far right as well. All right, here's the front of the clock. Uh, as you can see, it has the uh, readout on the uh, right side, giving the time in uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. And then there's that uh, talking time uh, reference on the far left there. On the uh, right side, you see a off and volume control. Uh, the off, of course, does not control the actual timepiece. It controls the talking uh, of the thing. You can turn that part off and then turn it on and, and obviously use the volume to make it louder or softer. And here on the bottom you have the uh, model number and some more information about the clock. And on the left side there is room for two uh, AA batteries. Also here is a little device you can flip up. And here is where you have the controls for setting the time, setting an alarm, and setting a stopwatch. This little cheat sheet is right here. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but it allows you to uh, quickly learn how to set the time, uh, set the uh, timer. You can have it uh, declare a time by every minute, every five minutes, or every 30 minutes. So every one, five, or 30 minutes, the talking clock will say 30 minutes have gone by or something to that effect. There's also a stopwatch on here and uh, I think I mentioned the alarm feature as well. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and this also works I guess as a handy little way of tilting the clock up a little bit so you can maybe see it a little bit better. Okay let's go ahead and turn the volume on and it's set for what 7 19 p.m. so I'll hit that. 7 19 p.m. Nice, nice synthesized Kind of a see and say kind of thing there. Uh, let's go ahead and flip up this thing here. Uh, the time is set for, let's see. 7, okay, so let's go ahead and try setting the alarm on here. And you do that by hitting this button. Okay, so that's our alarm setting. Now we have to flip this over to alarm. And apparently that's already passed. <laughs> So let's try it again. Let's make it 721. 721 okay, now let's see if this works. It should work, honest. And of course, there's a complete instruction manual that comes with it as well. Uh, the cheat sheet's only there just for, you know, quick reference. So as soon as this gets to 721, hopefully the alarm will go off. And you'll get to hear that. Down to uh, five seconds to go here. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Huh. It's now 7.21 p.m. 
And it plays this, the uh, Boccherini Minuet, I believe is pronounced. The Boccherini Minuet will go on until you turn the thing off. Or, I think it stops after a while, actually. Yeah, it stops. Now, they say that after five minutes from now, it will go off again. And what we'll do is we'll pause the uh, recording for a second here, come back in about five minutes, and I'll show you how that sounds. Okay. It's probably going to go off again in about 20 seconds or so. And it has a kind of an interesting message uh, for the second go-around with the alarm. That's if you don't hit that button, it'll repeat the the uh, music and say something kind of interesting. So let's see what, what happens here. Attention please, it's now 7.26 p.m. Please hurry. Okay, I better hurry. I'm late. And then you turn, you turn it off. So that's rather interesting. Uh, so that's the alarm. Now let's uh, flip it over up again here and put it on timer. We'll put on one minute timer, and now your your uh, you know time display goes away. You hit this button again. Hit the button. Elapsed time every minute. And now it will give you the elapsed time after one minute, two minutes, three minutes, etc., etc. And we'll speed this up, and we'll get to that first minute in just a couple seconds. Okay, it should give us that one minute mark. One minute elapsed. And then it'll say two minutes elapsed, etc., etc., until you shut it off. Which will sh shut off. Seven second elapsed. Hey, nice to know. All right, so let's turn that off and put it on. I think you have to put it on N, I think, at this point, and turn to stopwatch, which is a little thing right over here. A little smaller little button you gotta flip with your finger. And uh, turn that off. Okay, now, maybe not. Hang on. To do the stopwatch. Well, let's see what happens when I hit the button here. No, that doesn't seem to do it. Uh, oh, here we go. Maybe it has to go all the way across. No. This is really hard to move. There you go. It's on stopwatch now. There you go. There's stopwatch. Okay. There you go, and it just keeps on doing that till you tell it to stop. Twenty-four seconds elapsed. Hmm. Thirty seconds elapsed. Okay. Thirty-four seconds elapsed. Twenty seconds elapsed. And I guess you shut it off by doing this, putting it back on clock, and turning this off. So, I mean, it's rather awkward, as you can see here. It's 7 so there you go. That's the uh, model CT660E LC Quartz talking clock made by Sharp Corporation. Big company. Began back in the 20s. Uh, and, uh, you know, like everything else in, in the world of electronics and, and, and manufacturing in, in Japan, it had its ups and downs. I guess it's mostly owned by Foxconn nowadays. Still cranks out really good TVs and microwave ovens and other electronic stuff. Uh, but the talking clock, you don't see much of this anymore, obviously. And these are uh, somewhat rare, I guess. Uh, you can see them on eBay going for various amounts of money. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and check out a link that I put on the description to uh, get more information about Sharp Corporation. Interesting uh, story about them. 
And of course, like the video if you liked it, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more of the uh, vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.